Hi, I'm Kara. And I'm Tim. And welcome back to your favorite e-commerce show, Marketing Unboxed. Today, we're diving into the great outdoors with the surf-inspired apparel brand, Faraday. Founded by twin brothers Mike and Alex Faraday, this brand has locations in New York, Massachusetts, and California. But how is their e-commerce marketing game? You know there's only one way to find out. Let's unbox this thing. We're based in Boston, so we bought this classic Nantucket baseball hat from Faraday. It's the perfect thing to wear to the beach this summer to keep the sun out of your eyes. Much like any new customer, we browsed Faraday's site for a while to see what struck our fancy. As we poked around, we noticed that they have an online lookbook featuring a number of their products. Like a catalog or magazine, this lookbook shows buyers exactly how to put the Faraday gear together into outfits. It's aspirational and completely on brand, with the Faraday aesthetic of a scruffy but cool surf style. Now this type of shoppable content is great for buyers and it really shows off the brand from the best possible angle. We loved how interactive it was, with links that you could click on that go directly into each product. Once we decided to buy the hat, we put it in our cart and then abandoned it for a bit. We were interested to see what types of retargeting ads Faraday would use to try to lure us back in. We immediately saw Google Display ads and Facebook ads with compelling copy and on-brand creative. However, the ads were surprisingly not personalized to the specific items that we left in our cart. It's likely that Faraday is only doing checkout abandonment, not true cart abandonment. In other words, they can only understand the item that's in our cart if we're almost fully through the checkout process, but not if we've just left something in our cart. Exactly, and we think they're missing out on a huge opportunity to show ads to buyers with the products that they're actually interested in, and we know that those convert at a much higher rate. Now listen, their ads are fine, but there's a little bit more that they could be doing. Now as we sailed through the checkout process, we noticed a chat message waiting for us in the bottom corner of the screen thanking us for visiting. So we decided to test it out. Unfortunately, there wasn't a live support team manning the chat, which was disappointing. Instead, the chat prompted us to submit a support ticket via email to have our question answered. Nothing live about that. Now we thought this was a real miss. If you're going to offer chat on your website, you need to make sure that it's either manned by a live person at all times, or that there's a chat bot waiting on the other end to answer basic questions. It just wasn't a great customer experience for us, and we really recommend that Faraday step up their game here to better serve buyers. Faraday's marketing was consistently cool, but there were still a few wipeouts along the way. Their targeted ads weren't personalized, and the live chat fail was particularly disappointing. But we really love Faraday's overall brand style, from their Facebook ads to their online lookbook. Overall, we're giving Faraday a comfortable 3 out of 5 praise hands. Can't get through the summer without this Nantucket hat? We're giving it away to one of our Marketing Unbox subscribers. Just go over to zayas.com slash marketingunbox, subscribe, and you're entered to win.